Okay, so once you have any Blackboard session up, once you have it loaded, you don't have to do it multiple times or anything like that. But what you're going to do is once you have them saved somewhere on your desktop or in your documents, all you have to do is go into Tools, and then you're going to go into Whiteboard, and there's this Manage Your Clip Art Collections, which I bet you've never even visited. Once you get to that, it's going to show, like I already have these loaded these are the ones i loaded but if you go to the little plus sign up there and then you search your computer for where you saved it so i have a folder with all of the toolkits that i saved i emailed andrea and Brittany just the special ed ones because when i had these loaded on my old computer i noticed that the sped ones still incorporated almost all of these anyway so say I want to add the special ed math resource here. Now it's added. I click done. So now when I go to my clip art, <clears throat> I can toggle to where I have my special ed math resource. And it has my base 10 blocks, my fractions if I need them. Um, if you are doing... Uh, clocks, which I love just being able to grab a clock really quickly. Money. Um, so then I just make it bigger. And then you know when you draw on a clock and sometimes you click on it and you deleted a line but then you forgot uh, and the whole clock deletes on you? Don't forget to group as background and then you can't mess with it, can't do anything. So if you, if you draw on it now and you want to erase what you drew, if you erase that, the clock still stays. Um, but I love it for money. Like I was just working with one of the new start, the, both my new starts earlier today. And one of the math problems we were working on was talking about Chloe and Ben have a coin collection and is trying to get them at the fact that no matter how they arrange their 18 coins, whether it was three stacks of six or six stacks of three, you know, it's the same thing. And I liked how it was instantly able just to put up nickels, you know, like a visual context. Um, money is a big one. These are all visuals. These are all things that you would normally have to like quickly Google and um, take a screenshot of for a class um, that I find helpful just having right at my fingertips when the idea pops in my head that I want that. Um, and, I'll, and like I said, same thing if you wanted to add that. I haven't really used it for language arts really much. And I honestly don't even know maybe what's in the language arts one, but I did send it to you, so. I wonder what the language arts one looks like though. I wonder if it has like, like letters and stuff. Oh, well that's, that's nice. Oh, sight words. Although it's easy enough just to type them. Eh, well, not much. But these are nice. Beginning, middle, end. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Hold on, where'd it go? Oh, that's nice. I like that. Although, working on handwriting. Working on handwriting on Blackboard is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Anywho, that's, I'm going to stop the screencast.